We're back for your ears only. I'm Melissa Axelbarth. I'm David Alpern with this quote from the news. Music to dance with will always be with us. That was singer-songwriter Donna Summer, acknowledged queen of disco, with three double albums in a row that reached number one and sold more than a million copies in the late 1970s. Dead last week of cancer at 63. Now this. Come away with me, Lucille, in my mail. That 1909 recording of a 1905 classic sets the stage for a news you can use segment, especially if you're in the market for a new car. Yes, you've compared models, prices, gotten the lowdown on incentives, cash back offers, and 0% interest rates. You've shopped around for the best deals online and played all of your local dealers against one another. But have you really covered all the bases? You could be missing a major discount on models about to get a makeover. Every five years or so, manufacturers completely redesign a model. And while many buyers are itching to get their hands on the redesign, some savvy shoppers set their sights on the model just about to be phased out and the money that can be saved. Auto-buying Bible Kelly Blue Book is where most shoppers go to research vehicles before they buy. And among the wealth of auto info at kbb.com is the latest list of value buys on models headed for redesign. To explain for your ears only, we're joined now by Alec Gutierrez, Senior Market Analyst of Automotive Insight for Kelly Blue Book. Welcome to the program. Hi, David. Thanks for having me on. Uh, First, tell us why car makers and dealers might offer a discount on models headed for redesign. Well, we find that um, a lot of times manufacturers and dealers will have not necessarily an excess inventory of uh, previous model year units, but ultimately in anticipation of the next model year coming out, the manufacturer wants to try and move as many of these vehicles as possible because ultimately they have production commitments and they have these vehicles on their lots and they have to start to incentivize them because consumers know with the redesign around the corner, um, rather than wait, they want to try and uh, provide some incentive for consumers to buy today. There seem to be a number of vehicles expecting a makeover in 2013, compact cars, crossovers, midsize vehicles. Why don't we take a look at some specific examples and what we can expect to save, starting with the SUV market and the Nissan Xterra? Sure. The Nissan Xterra was last redesigned in model year 2005, so um, the existing generation has been around for a little while. And it's expected to be redesigned either either for model year 2013 or 2014. And with so many redesigns, not only in this segment, but in the industry as a whole, uh, Nissan's working hard to try and move as many uh, Xterras as possible. And in fact, right now they're running a $3,000 cash rebate. And if we take a look at Kelly Blue Book's fair purchase price, which tries to quantify what consumers are actually paying in the market, um, so the average discount relative to MSRP, consumers can save as much as $5,000 off sticker on an Xterra right now. So a, a pretty tremendous deal overall. What are some models in the midsize category headed for makeover and the potential savings? Uh, the midsize category, there's actually going to be a lot of deals available. Um, this is one of the segments that are being most heavily revamped this year. We've already seen a brand new Camry um, come out, and there's the Malibu Eco, which is just starting to sell. But later this year, we're going to see uh, a redesigned Fusion, uh, a redesigned Altima, and a redesigned Malibu, in addition to the, the base Eco trim, which is out now. And each of those three is available with around $4,000 in, in total savings, um, which is, again, a, a, really, a really significant discount, considering the MSRP is only at twenty-three dollars to $24,000. Um, any of those three would make a great choice for someone looking for a deal today. And what about compact cars, where snazzy design is finally gaining ground? Um, again, there are a number of compacts um, that are expected to be redesigned either this year or next. The Sentra will be redesigned this year. The Kroll, I believe, isn't scheduled to be redesigned until next year. Um, but 2011 was actually a big year for the compact segment in that we saw a redesigned Civic, Jetta, Elantra. Um, so Toyota, Nissan, and Suzuki are really working hard to remain competitive against these guys before their redesigns come later in the year. Um, on the Sentra, you can save about $2,700 off of initial MSRP after a $1,500 rebate. Uh, Corolla has a more conservative rebate. They're only at about $500 right now, but once you consider... Um, The average discount that consumers are able to negotiate, per our calculations, you can save as much as $2,000, which is similar that you can save on uh, the Suzuki SX4. Is there any other way besides consulting Kelly Blue Book or KBB.com online to know which models are uh, scheduled uh, for face and body lifts? Sure, absolutely. We would recommend checking the manufacturer's website. That's always going to have um, a lot of information as far as what's expected to come. Although you'll, you'll find that you won't see any information on the next redesign until perhaps maybe three to six months before launch. 
um, which may not give you enough time, depending on where you're at in, in your car shopping cycle. And honestly, uh, I, I recommend checking Wikipedia. I find that there's always um, <laughs> pretty good information that's updated by both the manufacturers as well as um, loyal followers of the brand that just try and keep things up to date as, as news and information becomes available. So I'd recommend the OEM websites and or uh, Wikipedia in addition to KBB.com. Now, what if the redesign is a total bust and no one likes it? Is there a chance buyers will rush to get the last of the old design and then push prices higher instead of lower? Uh, I would say theoretically that's possible. In, in practice, I haven't really seen that um, occur too often in the marketplace. In most cases, even if a even if a redesign is um, is launched to a lukewarm reception, in most cases it's still going to maintain at least um, a minuscule edge over the outgoing generation. Um, so even in the case of um, well, take a look at the 2012 Civic, which has received um, kind of moderate reviews from most um, auto journalists and critics, um, it, it's selling just fine out there in the marketplace. So even though in most cases um, you'll see a lot of critics saying, just look at the 2011 because the 2012 is a, a pretty bland redesign overall. Consumers don't seem to care because it's still the number one selling compact. Alec Gutierrez is senior market analyst of Automotive Insight for Kelly Blue Book, a wholly owned subsidiary of autotrader.com. To the shore swim swiftly seal, then our wedding bells will be. And this has been for your ears only.